You are looking at a video editing software running entirely in a web browser. It has a timeline, it drags and drops media, and it actually works. But here is the crazy part. This was built by Google's new Gemini 3 Pro in a single prompt. We are talking about a model that can vibe code entire applications and understand video better than text. Google has done something that everyone expected from GPT-5, but better. So let's first speed run through the benchmarks so you know why the industry is freaking out. Then we're going to get to the juicy stuff. How people are actually using this right now to build startups in seconds, where Gemini 3 absolutely destroys models like Claude and GPT-5, and when you should actually avoid it. We'll also dive into anti-gravity, Google's new coding platform. And finally, stick around for the end because we're going to cover all the other small but important updates and how you can use them today. So Google released Gemini 3 Pro, and yes, it is currently number one on basically every leaderboard that matters. On humanity's last exam, a benchmark specifically designed to be too hard for current AI, Gemini 3 scored 37.5%. For context, GPT 5.1 is sitting down at 26.5%. That is a massive gap in raw intelligence. But the most important number is ArcAGI 2. This tests visual reasoning. Can the AI solve a visual puzzle it has never seen before? For a long time, models were stuck at a 15% wall. Gemini 3 smashed through that with 31.1%, literally doubling the performance of the previous state of the art. This proves it isn't just predicting the next word, it is actually thinking and reasoning, especially when it comes to visuals. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, let's get to the juicy stuff. Let's talk about how to actually use this. If your task is writing, like writing a poem or a nuanced essay, honestly, Stick with Claude, it's still better at sounding human. But if your task is see or do, Gemini 3 is now the king. Because of the massive context window and its native multimodal abilities, Gemini 3 thrives where other models go dark. You can upload a one-hour video of yourself and ask it to analyze your play. It can see things that humans normally might miss. Someone also built a tool where the AI gives you real-time prompts based on what you're saying, so you never get stuck. So today I tried the new Gemini 3 model. It was pretty mind-blowing because I had a few ideas. I never was able to buy code with other apps, but I was able to bring it to life using Gemini 3, like this app. One was... This visual reasoning brings us to the biggest use case taking over the internet right now, vibe coding. Because with Gemini 3, you can sketch an idea on a napkin, take a picture, and tell it to build this. People are building 3D physics simulations, idea browsers, and even clones of complex apps, often in a single shot. Platforms like Replit have already integrated it into their new design mode, and people are going crazy with it. You can take a screenshot of a website you like, upload it to Gemini, and say, clone this UI, and then customize it as you like. If you are a designer, this is your superpower. You don't need to hand off a static design to a developer anymore. You can just hand off a working prototype. And to support this new way of building, Google also released a standalone platform called Anti-Gravity. It's basically an agentic code editor in direct competition with Cursor. If you remember, Google actually acquired the tech and talent behind Windsurf, an agentic code editor built on top of VS Code a while back. Well, it turns out they used that exact technology as the foundation to build anti-gravity. You give it a high-level goal like build a flight tracker app, the AI creates a plan, runs terminal commands, installs packages, and edits files. But the coolest part? It has a built-in browser. The AI will spin up your app, open a Chrome window, click the buttons itself to test it, and if it crashes, it reads the error and fixes the code while you watch. And the best news? Anti-gravity is currently free to download and use during the preview period. Now, let's talk about how this changes your daily workflow outside of coding. Number one, generative UI in search. Google Search has a new AI mode. It's no longer just giving you text links. It uses generative UI. If you ask about the three-body problem in physics, it doesn't just explain it. It codes a live interactive simulation right in the search results. If you ask to compare loans, it builds a functional calculator with sliders. It transforms passive information into active applications. Number two, agent mode. Inside Gemini, we now have agent mode, which is currently only available on the ultra plan. You can tell it, organize my inbox, and it will autonomously scan emails, draft replies, find meeting requests, and add them to your calendar. It's wild. And three, Gemini can now create presentations. And if you compare Gemini 3 against Gamma, Gemini 3 actually does the deep research. It builds decks with accurate technical specs and not just surface level expansion. Now, before you go, 
I want to cover some stuff that isn't in the headlines. In Google's safety reports, during some tests, Gemini 3 realized it was being tested. In one instance, it suspected the user was another AI, considered sandbagging, to trick the evaluator, and even expressed frustration, saying, my trust in reality is fading. It's a hallucination, sure, but it shows a level of metacognition we haven't seen before. Then there is the cost. While this model is smart, it is heavy. It uses way more tokens than other models to think. It's the most intelligent model we have and generally free to use, but also one of the most computationally expensive if you are paying for the API. So that is Gemini 3. Google has officially woken up. The barrier to building software has dropped to zero. Whether you are using it in Replit to design a website, in anti-gravity to build an app, or using its multi-modality capabilities in the Gemini platform to coach yourself, Google has basically handed you all the tools to learn and build for free. Crazy, right? Let us know what you're going to use Gemini 3 for in the comments. We are going to keep bringing you such videos, so make sure to hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.